trust me, gay is in, gay is hot. I want some gay, gay it's gonna be. Hello everybody, it is Wednesday. Um, if I cry, you're gonna have to excuse me. I'm not looking at the chats as of right now. Um, people are in there in the chats. I wanna say thank you everyone for coming. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, no, I am not better before anyone asks. I'm still just sick. Um, but it has been interesting since all of this went down. I absolutely made a mistake reaching out to someone. someone. Um, this someone doesn't need to have a name. Most of you know it. It's fine. It was an absolute mistake I shouldn't have out of vengeance or confirming what was going on and what had happened. I shouldn't have done it. Um, my words were twisted, um, but are we surprised? Um, the only thing that really caught me off guard was everything that has happened since. Um, as much as everyone wants to say, um, certain people have remained in my life the rest of disconnected. Uh, I got a nice little fair road, fair weather message. I'm uh, saying goodbye. And basically, you know, never to talk about this situation. And then uh, other people started talking about it. So it's okay. You know, it's just whatever's good for, for, for everyone. I have not made any progress in this. And now um, I've received two emails. One email saying uh, that they know where I live and that they're going to basically, again, because we're trying to be YouTube sensitive, um, they're going to um, off me. The next one, that um, I should off myself before they have a chance to for what I've done to Nora. So um, that one was interesting. Um, police have been notified, so has the amazing Pearl Snappy, um, because this is what we needed to do. Now, you know, we'll, we'll see. Now, I have taken it off my, my email because I personally can't. So if someone finds it necessary to send me an email, and they wish me death. Congratulations. It is phenomenal to get an email when you're just trying to function and trying to be and trying to be sick and trying to get through life. I'm trying to figure out a way to get past a mistake that I made. Because then a lot of people, I don't, I live in, we all live in glass houses. But who's going to throw the first stone? I'm not going to throw a stone. Because I think we all live in fucking glass houses. None of us are perfect. We've all made mistakes. Hell, I joined a cult. My mom and I left and then I went back because something really fucked up happened to me. And if you're wondering if I'm worried about this video being monetized, um, I could give a rat's ass anymore, guys. I, I really could. Um, this has probably been one of the worst weeks of my life. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of you being here. The reason that this is, um, my purpose is also in the chat, everybody. Um, if you have a chance to see her, um, just say hi. Huh. I have no idea what her scream is. But she's in there. <laughs> um, but this is most likely going to be my very last video um, ever. And um, above all else, I have not made any progress to getting my father out. I have not made any progress in seeing him and hugging him, touching him, feeling him. And now the idea that people are threatening children, not only are people threatening children, the idea that I should off myself before they have a chance to know where I live. Phenomenal, phenomenal everyone. I am sure that I have helped many people, and for you that I have helped, I am so grateful because you have made a huge impact in my life. You've made a huge impact in my family, Pearl. If you are not subscribed to an amazing person, this woman is, is brilliant, <laughs> and she's made me feel better through being given death threats. She has made me feel a little human. Because uh, let's be real, guys. You get a death threat, and it doesn't—it doesn't feel good. It, 
it um doesn't make you warm and fuzzy. It doesn't make you want to continue. It doesn't even make you want to live life. It makes you scared and it makes you put up more cameras. And then I get to my mom in and I get to tell my mom of what happened. And then the first thing that she says is, oh, I was planning on talking about AOLA. <laughs> I was going to give every secret I know. And now uh, nobody needs to know about 1983 through 1989. <laughs> I guess something bad happened between those years, but I don't, I don't know what I was a kid, everybody. Um, uh, I'm not trying to let anybody win. I'm trying to do the best thing for me. And for me, it's to stay away from people that um, pretend to be something or not. I pretend to be friends. That pretend that they are. And then the first opportunity, they're, you know, I would say it's like a mic drop. But this has really been an eye opener. This has been an amazing eye opener for me. And it is not the path that I want to be on. This is not a path of healthy housing. This is literally let's throw stones at every single house and let's see how many fall. So I wish you nothing but the best. I wish you love. I wish you health. I wish you happiness. If you are feeling alone, reach out to someone. There's people in the Discord that love each and every person. There's people in the Discord and here, Mandy, the moms, tip me and glitter. Like there's hundreds of people that are here with love. They're here because they want to help get the the horrible people out. And uh, above all else, I need to take care of my family and myself because this has pushed me into a path of being that maybe, maybe, just maybe, some people still want to operate acting like disconnection is the way to the way to the way to everything everybody it's the way to to save your life it's the way to treat you better it's literally the way to make someone feel like death is the only option and is better than what you have in this very moment and if you love someone you really love them and you and you and you talk to them and they, and it's just these amazing things and then all of a sudden it's gone, you're removed from things, fine, I'm not trustworthy. I'll accept that and I'll own it. I fucked up. I absolutely fucked up. And instead of having a conversation, it turned worse. Now that person, you don't need to worry guys, that person will not be coming in here. So I see quite a few people are, are wondering who it is and it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Or as they say in England, you know, my godmother used to say, bloody hell, just a bunch of bollocks and stupid wankas. And I will remember that for the rest of my life. So you are more than welcome to stop um, any of the memberships. You are more than welcome to do whatever it is that you need to do. Um, because I will not have someone threatening children or threatening my life or my wife. I will not. I didn't do something that was so severe. I'd never shot someone. I didn't, you know, nothing against you, Tommy, if you ever have a chance to see this. I didn't have a bank. I didn't hold a gun against someone's head. I, I literally got things stolen from me and I reacted out of, out of anger and I shouldn't have. And no matter what, it doesn't deserve someone saying that you should die. It sh it doesn't deserve that. Because we all make mistakes. 
And um, it doesn't matter anymore, honey, everybody. It literally doesn't matter. But if you really believe in this mission, please follow Children of Scientology. Please follow Natalie Webster. Please follow Alicia from The Degraded Daughter. I know that I have been there to smile with you guys, but obviously I'm no longer smiling. I can't even fit. I can't even. I can't even do anything. Because I'm paralyzed with the idea that someone could try to hurt my family over me trying to get my dad out. Now, my dad was not in my life. My dad loved me as a child, but my dad walked away. The, the church told me he was dead, but realistically, he walked away. And I'm still trying to get him out because it's the right thing to do, and I don't have any fight left. I have zero fight left to give. I have zero will to fight. I have zero will to hang on anymore. I don't see this ending well. I don't see this going in the right direction. I don't see this ever mending bridges. And I don't see any of those people and I ever being friends. I saying no. Um... Once you see someone's true colors, not a mistake, not one simple mistake, but you see their true colors, walk the fuck away. Run. Run. If they start acting like Scientologists, run. Run. Because you know what? Above all else, you can't get someone out if you're still practicing Scientology. Because I, I believe that. I still believe in part of Scientology. And you can't get someone out of Scientology if you're still practicing it. People come and go. People are meant to be in your life sometimes. Some of them for a flicker. Some of them for a moment. Some of them for a lifetime. I'm going to take this as a flicker. It's a flicker in a fucked up life. It's a flicker in a tortured soul. It's a flicker in the idea that I could really help get people better. I could really help show the love. I could get people to see that they're worth loving it, that they're lovable. When am I getting my shot? I'm supposed to get it April 17th. I don't know if we're going to move forward on that date. Right now, um, I am fighting for my life right now. I am fighting to find a reason to wake up in the morning. I'm fighting to find a reason to smile. I am fighting to not want to be back to where I was. I'm fighting... People threatening to take my life or I should take my own. I don't, let me just top it all off for you guys. The email was created on Friday. On Friday, the same email that sent me those nasty, uh, the, one of the nasty messages, it was created on Friday. The other one, that one was created supposedly on Monday. So that was that was super. They created it the day before they sent the nasty email. The day before. So realistically, if someone is threatening your life, don't give them the power to threaten your life. Just walk the fuck away. Because I'm not that person. I'm not that person that just sits there. I'm not that person that just takes it. I'm literally the person that will come out swinging. I will bust your fucking mouth open. I will break every rib in your body. I don't give a shit anymore. I grew up abused. And you know what? You know what happens to those of us that grew up abused? We know how to fight. So don't throw stones at a glass house when you yourself are in a glass house. I wish you all nothing but the best. I wish you a happy and healthy life. For those of you that I have touched, I love you. You've made, you've made my life a better place. For those of you that barely get to know me and are just now experiencing a few minutes with me, it was a pleasure knowing you. It is always going to be a pleasure, but I'm going to tear this all down. 
and I'm going to create a new place for me, a place that is actually going to be filled with love and not hate. I don't care if you said anything. We all do stuff we regret. You're such a sweet soul. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. But right now, this is not it. This is not it. Pearl, I love you. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. We're getting a call. <laughs> Who is it? Hey, Tommy. How you doing? I'm on a live and you're talking. Don't worry, I'm not doxing you, I promise. Oh, I don't care. I've been better. You like death threats? I'm getting them now. <laughs> oh, no. So, unfortunately, that is absolutely a YouTube thing. Do you care if the people that are on my channel hear what I'm saying? No. No. Okay. You want to clink in? Yeah. You know what? Send it. Can you send the link? Um, Hold on. I'll send you one. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah. Well, I think I have to send you one. Uh, uh, you know what? Hold on a second. I'm just going to go over here and check. Just do this. Yeah, I'm going to tell you the, the web the website. Just go to StreamYard.com. You broke up on me. You ready? Hold on, hold on. I need to pen. Uh, what is the website? It goes StreamYard.com and then go E is in. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. I was going to try to send him a link, but it looks like I can't seem to send him a link. Uh, or what's what's your email? What is your email that everybody knows? Does anybody in the chat know Tommy's email address? Can you put it in the chat for me, please? Anybody? Um, I will send him the link, but if anybody knows Tommy's email, can you please just send it to me real quick? Just put it in the chat. Oh, love is what Tommy we should. Okay. Oops. Okay. Tommy. Oops, Scoville, S C O V I L L E at gmail.com. Yeah. Yep, it's on its way. Okay, so here's the bill. I'm live. Did I hit the bill, brother? Laura Flynn, I appreciate you saying I should end this live, but what? Once this live ends, that's it. So I'm sorry, but once this live ends, this is where it ends. There will not be um, a redo. There will not be another live in regards to this. Um, Mandy, I love you. I love you so much, Liz, and I have appreciated you, and I will keep being your friend no matter what. I appreciate that. I absolutely appreciate that. Um, yeah, Tommy's going to come on, and then we're going to go from there. Um, uh, it's my mom. Can you go find out what my mom wants? Yeah. Um, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, um, Kareen, um, please, we need you. There is so many people. Yeah. Hey. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm 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 okay. <laughs> I've been better, but I you know, I've been worse. So I sent you the link to your Gmail and once you have it, um okay. if you want to join me, you're more than welcome. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do that. He's waiting. The problem is my son is uh, um he's just closing that up he does because we're you. We're on the same device. So yeah. I just wanted to talk to you and make sure that, uh, that you're all right. Yeah. 
there are other things where I'm worried about it. Somebody said the other day, I think, they ought to think we're having a tough time. And I said, it. But, but when I was in the live just now, somebody said, you know, what the it is, Jenny. Yeah, I was a homemaker. So now I'm going to go out of a chat and I'll see here real quick. And it'll pop up on your show. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming. All right. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, I am not disconnecting. Um, please don't use that word. Um, I'm walking with my head held high. And that's, um, that is what's going on right now. I have talked to my therapist. I have talked to many people in the community. I have talked to people that are in this community, big executives that know exactly what's going on. and. Um, they've told me specifically that, um, I can't do any more. I can't save anybody else because right now I can't even save myself and I need to save myself. So that's not me disconnecting guys. That's me walking away with my head held high. This is me trying to save my own life. Uh, you listen, uh, Kareen, you listen to me and my story. You matter so much. Um, thank you so much. Um, you matter to me, Karine. You're a very caring, compassionate person. Um, we all need a break. Sometimes it's a break up and sometimes it's it's a break. Unfortunately, right now with what's going on, this is a break up. And I'm going to leave it to everybody else to try to get my dad out. I'm going to leave it to everybody else. If he gets out, then the, the new foundations can all help. Um, he has plenty of family that's alive. And he doesn't need his daughter that's a tortured soul that's been thrown away like garbage. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I don't need that. I, I No human being deserves that. No human being deserves to be treated like garbage. And um, I fucked up. I made a mistake. I trusted someone. They said they had contacts. Not that it matters, but they said that they had a, a contact to be able to get my dad out. I'm sorry. They said that they had people that they knew. And they were constantly asking me. You know, what's your next step? What's your next step? Let's try to get your dad out. Let's try to do something. Like, I know I know some people. And you know any people that person really knew? Not one. So after all of this, and after everything that had happened, threats of any kind are never okay. No, because if someone wants to meet me in a ring, you're more than welcome. I'll meet you. Any ring. We got boxing rings here. We got taekwondo rings. We got cardio. We got kickboxing rings. I'll even pretend to cardio kickbox. Did it for four years. But boxing is my repertoire. All right. Let me put my headphones on because otherwise I won't be able to hear him. You ready, honey? Yeah. Hey. What's happening? <laughs> Not much. It looks like yeah. you got a tan. <laughs> well, uh, since I came, yeah, since I came back, I uh, I started to uh, spend a little time out by the pool. So I was really, really um, white. You know what I mean? I I was glowing the other night. They were making uh, jokes about me calling me Casper, and uh, uh, you don't look as uh, as chipper as the last time I saw you. No, no, I'm I'm not. So let I'm, I'm I'm sure you've been out of the loop, but here let me just fill you in on on some of the loop and the rest that we we can fill in afterwards with mentioning names. Right, okay. we're gonna do no names. Um, I reached. Um, I had reached out to someone who asked me to confirm what was going on with my dad. Um, this person did a video about how. Um, Jeffrey Augustine had set this whole thing up with my dad. And if I needed to clarify it, I should reach out to him. So I thought I could be the one to broker peace because I don't 
want to hurt anybody. I don't want to see anyone go down. I don't want any, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want someone being treated like garbage or do I want them getting death threats <laughs> ever. <laughs> I sat here not even a month ago when Amy and Claire were getting death threats, begging for people to stop. And now I'm the one getting them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but I, I reached out to, to said person and, um, I confirmed everything that happened at my house, everything that you and I talked about. I confirmed everything that happened at my house. And uh, I also uh, wanted him to see how kind someone was. So I had made a statement, uh, please see how kind she is to me on this situation. Um, please look and see she's not a jerk that you're playing out to me. <laughs> But I said it in much better terms. And uh, it went from much better terms to um, I was somehow betraying everyone, talking shit, don't belong in the second gen group. Um, I deserve to be kicked out and ostracized. So that just happened. And I've been sick trying to stay away. Um, and um, that person just, you know, blow drill is mentioning said person's name in the emails. So same because I hurt said person. I deserve right. to die. Uh, yeah. So I am walking away. I am choosing to give up on getting my father out. I am choosing to give up on believing that this is the greater good. <laughs> um. You know what? Before you do anything, a couple of things, and this is just, this is solid advice all the way around, but um, anytime you, you you feel like that's a something that is a, a good move forward, and it might be, I'm not saying it's not, it might be the absolute right move, um, but uh, always always let the sun come up and, uh, and see what it looks like tomorrow morning. Because every once in a while, yeah, I've been waiting a couple of days. Yeah, when, yeah it, it, it has a way of uh, of sometimes looking a little different after a couple of sunrises and, and maybe a few conversations as well. I want to tell you something though. I got a guy that we have affectionately called twelve oh six Charlie. Because <laughs> every night, right after midnight, I get an email from this guy that says it's not a question of if; it's a question of when. You will be found dead with a needle in your arm. Right now, I've blocked this cat. <laughs> I'm not joking. 500 times? Uh, I'm not being, I'm not exaggerating this much because he's been doing this for two years. And sometimes I'll forget about him and I don't check him for a couple of days and I'll be the same, like four or five under the same email. Then I got to go and block that. He starts, but he never misses a night. He'll, he sets up a new email. Once I responded and said, uh, you know, I assume it's a guy, but who knows? But I said, dude, yeah, you, you never know if it's male or female. Effort, yeah. But I said, dude, if you put this much effort into anything, Right, like the piano, you'd be able to play. Like the guitar, if you took this much time and dedicated it to anything on planet Earth. But what you find is that that these people's threats are no more real than they are. Right? It's it's not fun. It's uncomfortable. I've brought it into other people's lives in the past, which makes you feel horrific. It's part of what we do that sucks. Right? But it is a way that people have to get really phenomenal people to stop doing really phenomenal things. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely and threatened my kids and my family. Yeah. That's definitely. It's, uh... Yeah. I mean, it is. I, I, I've, I've, I've been there. I've had, I've had people mail pictures of, uh, of their, their junk to, um, to family members and people that I cared about. And uh, it's, it's horrific, isn't it? I mean, it's, 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 you know, these people are, uh, they're not the salt of the earth. No, right? they, they're they will pick any, any negative thing. And then, you know, you put that out there, you literally put out that negative item and all of a sudden it's like, you don't even have to, I don't even have to ask people to say something negative to someone else. That's why names aren't being mentioned. No, it's not Jeffrey Augustine. This was a different conversation. 
but I, by the way, I respect that. And you know what? It's here's the thing. Um, very often you, you're in just as good a shape to go. You know what? I, I wouldn't want their names out of my mouth anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because let's be, let's be really honest, uh, Liz, for lack of any other way to think about it. We live in a really bizarre world, people like you and me and, you know, and, and others who do this, right? This is kind of a bizarre world, but the people that, uh, the people that get really upset with us and the people that really hate us would like more than anything in the entire world for you to say their name on here, right? For mm-hmm. real. Cause you're good at what you do, <laughs> right? You're good at what you do. And people actually come here and watch and, if they can really upset you and you say their name on here, well, then they, they can get the same exposure without doing the same kind of work, right? Mm-hmm. Or, or connecting with people the same way. And then suddenly they can way. get clicks and views and doesn't and, deserve anyone right. to care one right. iota. Right. Those who can create and those who cannot troll because they, they you know, make money or they make clicks or they make uh, views or, or subscribers or whatever um, mm-hmm. off of other people's efforts, off, off of things that, that other people do well. You're not going to. Yeah. I, honestly. And listen, I took a break, man. I walked away from the lifeboat, which is was hands down. You know, this is the most important thing I've ever done and the most important thing in my life. And I, I said, I can't do this anymore. And I shut it down and I walked away. Uh, I will tell you this. Uh, it has a way of, um, of really not wanting you to leave. You're going to, and I don't mean even just people, but there's going to be a drawback because this is, uh, you're, you're the type of creator that actually does connect with, <laughs> with, with the audience, right? There are people who don't Liz, but you're not one of them. And that, that connection is something that is very, very real. And, uh, when I get away from it, like I, I was just on a business trip, uh, and went five days where I wasn't with the audience, but it's, it's painful when, when you're not there and you're not connecting with them. It's hard. It's hard as hell. Um, but I think that, uh, I think you will do what's right for you. I really believe that I got big faith in you, but, but boy, I'd like to, uh, if there's anything I can do or you have, um, you know, boy, yeah, anything we'll, I can do we'll, to help. We'll talk after the live. Okay. Absolutely. You know, uh, yeah. For those of you that are not familiar with <laughs> with this amazing man, his name is Tommy from the Lifeboat. I, um, since right now, what is going on is I'm I'm not in a place to help anybody stay sober. I'm not in a place to be able to help anybody right now. Um, please definitely head on over to the lifeboat if you ever need any sobriety. I am I am definitely not your girl right now because I'm struggling with that as it is. And uh, I've, I've, I've worked too hard to stay clean. I've worked I, too hard to, to stay clean from alcohol and drugs. That goes above everything else, right? It needs to always go above everything else, to be sure. Good for you. I mean, <laughs> I'm not, but um, that's uh, that's the most important thing. And uh, I've been there so many times. And and you do have to put it before everything else. Um, yeah. And then things change, Liz. Right? Then things change. You know, things mellow I'm, out. I'm not right? saying in a year from now, two years from now, things won't change. But right now, as long as I'm getting threats to for me to take my life or someone else is going to take my life, um, I'm good. I'm good. No fighting a, no fighting a cult is worth getting threats or you know, do anything long. It's, it's not worth the threats. It's not. Um, I know a bunch of you had questions. Carrie is throwing them up. Um, unfortunately threats work. Yeah. Because you never know who's going to be the person that's saying it. And you never know who's going to be the person that's doing it. Cause there are True. two types of people, everybody. There's the people that say, and the people that do. Yeah. And, uh, and unfortunately, there are people that do. Uh, for those of you who believe that that's not the truth, um, sadly, it is. Uh, 
I've, I've told the story on the boat before, but I was actually on one, uh, Con Air with one of them, <laughs> with one of those low lives. But, um, you know what, going rogue, yeah. I, I understand, I understand your sentiment, you know, uh, but, uh, very often when we, uh, when we begin to call out names, we, we keep these people in business, so to speak. Um, it's a, it's a really fine line. It's a hard, it's a hard, uh, hard thing. But uh, you know what, Liz? My, I, the one thing I have absolute faith in is that um, you will do what uh, what's right. I, yeah. I have no doubt, and and it's not going to. Uh, I promise you, it's not going to change our friendship. Um, and uh, I, you know, we'll always. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can take you. Like I don't know, we've <laughs> met in real life. I'm pretty sure I can take you. <laughs> you know what? Um, I'm not going anywhere. Just because you I mean, laugh at the idea and then it would hit no. you out of nowhere and you'd be like, what's going on? No, I, la I, I laugh because I was thinking to myself, you know, since the last time you saw me, I have probably dropped about 25 pounds. I'm not, I, I'm probably not nearly as, uh, I was probably tough for the last time you saw me was what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a little, uh, a little smaller now. <laughs> that's a good thing. Up. As long as you're happy, that doesn't matter, right? Yes, I, being, I really am. Being too, happy right? and, you know, because when all of this went down, you were not happy. You were not no. happy at all. No, I really was not. But um, Sarah, normally good to see you, Sarah. No, I was not. Um, and uh, it was ugly, is it? Wasn't it? I mean, it's yeah. It was it, very ugly. I know for me personally, I called you crying um, because I'm crying right now, everybody. So why don't we just have a talk about? It? I called Tommy because some items had been stolen from me, and Tom knows a lot of people, and so I was praying to God that he knew someone that collected Pokemon, so that I could get those cards back because they were my first, <laughs> not my seconds, not my third. They were my firsts. And I don't have a lot of happy childhood memories. And I'm sorry for what I did. I'm super pumped. You got thank you so much for the memberships, but I'm I'm not joking, guys. Um this isn't me trying to make you click. This isn't me trying to uh, this is this is me blowing kisses and saying goodbye. <laughs> like, and I think and I think it may just be their way of saying. Please don't. But I get. Please don't. Exactly. Well, well said. By the way, well said. Um, not surprised, <laughs> but I'm. But well said. Uh, you know what? Here's the thing, gamer Jackie. Uh, I'd like to answer that question. <laughs> Why would somebody take that? Um, I think two reasons. I think two reasons. Um, first of all, people that still are, uh, are usually broken, right? Usually it has something to do with drugs. Um, but in this case, I think it was also uh, done just spitefully, um, which is something that makes it, uh, you know, obviously considerably worse. And they're valuable, make no mistake. So, you know, it's, it, don't take that away from it. It's all, they're also quite valuable. Um, but yes, cloning sometimes says, uh, Mandy McGee. Uh, yeah. But you, you so, have to do you have to do what's right. Uh, what's right, Liz. Um, but you're gonna you have a lot of people that uh, that love you for for really obvious reasons. Again, you you yeah. I uh, I appreciate I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you, Tommy. Um, I was hoping that this was gonna be a short one. I know quite a few people sent some messages, so let's um. Let me grab some of them. Um, uh, here's, please take care of you. I emailed you earlier because I appreciate you. Please know you are loved and appreciated. If you need space to step away, please do so. I'm, I'm definite, definitely doing as much as I possibly can to step away. Um, I don't know who these are from. Julie, thank you so much. You have helped me. And, and I'm I'm grateful that I was able to help you. I, I truly am. Um, but if you could reach out to Tommy, like if everyone that is subscribed to me, just reach out to Tommy. I promise you, you know, we've all we've all been on that gravy boat. So please definitely take time and, and reach out to them. 
as I just drop things. <laughs> <laughs> Krista, hi family to uh, to my beautiful mods. Thank you so much. Um, Betsy, I love Liz for real. I love you guys too. I really do. I just um, I personally um, yes, Katie. Uh, thank you so very much. I just I I probably. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Peaceful activist. Um, thank you. Super pup again. Thank you. I just I don't I don't know what to say to you guys. It's it's just too much, guys. It's too much has happened, and too many things has happened. Um, so the power that lies. Please still get your treatment. Um, you are the most important. I I am I'm trying to do what I can, guys. I am absolutely trying to do what I can. Um, and that means that, um, I have to do what's right by me. Um, I am going to now go offline and talk to Tommy. I have loved you. I will, no matter what, love all of you for the joys, the laughter, the fun, the hearts that you have all given me. Thank you for trying to help me get to my dad. Thank you for trying to help me stand up to who has abused me. And no matter what else, please find Tommy. And um, if the mods can throw up his link um, or, or Pearl Snappy, you know, Alicia, degraded daughter, you know, do any of, any of them. Children of Scientology, absolutely. Uh, let me grab this last one and then I'll end it. Make it make sense. Liz, um, here for you, whatever you need it. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate you. I love you all. It was a pleasure getting to know you. And I wish you all all the peace and happiness in the world. Um, and um, have a great rest of your day. Miss Sunrise, Dawn, love you. You're stuck with me. You're more than welcome to, to email a lot of you I've talked to. So above all, thank you. It's just me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And... Um, I bid you all adieu. It was a pleasure knowing you. I love you. Have a great life. Smile because you never know when it's not going to be able to smile. So thank you so much. I am oops, say goodbye and adieu. Have a great time, everybody. Don't forget to love who you do love. Shit.